That was the scene in California's Mojave Desert five years ago. Our historic first view of the newcomer's ship. Theirs was a slave ship carrying a quarter million beings bred to adapt and labor in any environment. But they've washed ashore on Earth with no way to get back to where they came from. And in the last five years, the newcomers have become the latest addition to the population of Los Angeles. Sykes, if I had known you had money, I would have taken your marriage proposals much more serious. Matthew proposed to you? Only in her dreams. <laughs> Come on, Sykes, I've known you, what, five years? Hey, the only resort you could ever afford was bank account falls. Hey, the trip's free. I won it. <laughs> You're cheating. I, 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 I was in the right place at the right time. I won it fair and square. Claiming Leo Bavacqua's prize is hardly fair and square. Leo Bavacqua? Yeah, the guy used to live in my apartment. Big deal. It was still my address. But it said Leo Bavacqua. Look, he didn't leave a forwarding address. I figure old Leo wants me to have. Hey, Leo's hey, better off. I've been to Honolulu Sykes. I know. OK. While you're stuck partnering with Honest Abe, I'll be fancy free in Waikiki. Ooh. Aloha, hoi. Geez, Lois, I thought the pools only came out at night. They put you on day, didn't they? Hi, I'm Lois Allen. She just made detective. Guess they lowered the standards. <laughs> She's gonna be working with George on this one while I'm gone. What do we got? In a word, bizarre. The head with Mr. Culprit, it looks like a 38. It was pinned to the body. It's written on a medical prescription form. Oh, it's a real piece of literature. Take two aspirin and call me in hell. Do you think she was killed here? That's my guess, and not long ago. I'll have the results to you tomorrow. They don't look now, but there's the two-headed baby reporter. Oh, geez, I hate that guy and the rag he works for. Yeah, anything good happen over here? Makes all cops sound like clowns. Surprised to see you here, Burns. Didn't know slime could run uphill. What's this I hear about a psychotic note? You must have been reading your own paper. How about a little peek? Ah, wrong. Come on, Sykes, don't be a stickler. Rules are meant to be broken. Funny, that's what I think about your neck. What's this here? Hmm. Real mature, Sykes. How's it going? All right. Mom, can I go to the mall with Cindy after school on Thursday? I don't see why not, as long as you've done all your chores. Great. The new leather store, it's giving away friendship bracelets. Buck, it must be sturdy. Uh, I think this is photo to hold a dozen Zeppelin players carrying full Neelixes, <laughs> let alone a little Vesna in a half-hour ceremony. Buck, you better take her off the oscillator. She's had plenty today. <laughs> <laughs> you will have a great Mukti booty. I tried to explain to my teacher about the ceremony. She said it sounded like what humans call a christening. It is. Except Mukti Bhuti not only embraces the new life into the arms of Andarku and Selene, but into the hearts of the family, too. La Selene never to your zoo. Oh, Albert, thank you for coming over this evening. Trying to plan the ceremony with our schedules has been very difficult. Watching the young one being embraced into the family is one of the good things of being a bin -off. Now, the gifts that you give her are symbolic of what you are responsible for teaching her. I should have the vessel of Celine ready for the gift offerings. What did you each choose? I picked tradition. I have chosen love. Yeah. I've chosen spirituality, which leaves the gift of honor to you, Em. Emily, do you understand your responsibility? I guess. Em, this is tradition. Don't guess. No. If you follow what the writings of Celine tell us to do, 
Vesna will enjoy good health. Don't worry, Abba. <laughs> we'll all follow the rules. Remember, by sundown on the days leading up to the ceremony, everyone takes a turn putting a gift of their love into the vessel of Selene. It's very important. <laughs> Macadamia nuts, a pet. Yeah, Sykes, about the size of your brain. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, break them up. Come on. I'll pass the honors. George? George. <laughs> this is comedy, yes? <laughs> Funny, huh? Eh? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, Matt, I. Uh, for you. Oh, what's this, a pet rock? You do know funny. Oh, uh, no, Matthew. It's a Tanktonese journey stone. It's supposed to bring good fortune to the traveler. Oh. Thanks, George. I'll get it a tan. <laughs> all right, people. Uh, enough frivolity. Uh, let's all get back to work. Huh? Yeah, you're right, Bride. The party's over. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, you guys. Hey, thanks a lot. This uh, means a lot to me. I'm deeply and profoundly moved. While I'm in Hawaii, I... Won't be thinking of you at all. <laughs> the coroner's report? Hmm. Yesterday's victim. She's a school teacher from Pasadena. Gunshot wound was the cause of death, but there was also a large amount of sodium pentothal injected into her system. Sodium pentothal, that's bizarre. What is it, Matt? Huh? Oh, nothing. No. Sodium pentothal is a, an anesthetic. It's also used as a truth serum as well. Yeah. Hi, Albert. Hello. Hey, uh, what do you suppose you're talking about in there? Wouldn't have anything to do with the uh, killer's note, would it? I don't know. <laughs> no, what are you forgetting? Your civics class and the press. I represent the people. The people have a right to know. That's true. But the last no, but look, time... Look, 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 I have one of these on me. Well, uh, um, sometimes we re react badly to t tobacco. Ah, these are mild. Go ahead. Like this. Yeah, these health nuts can drive you crazy, huh? <laughs> Man enjoys a good cigarette every now and then, okay. especially after you know what. <laughs> Albert, just between you and me, where are you keeping that note? Uh, what? Uh, Albert? Uh, Albert, you all right? I'm fine. I d d don't think I have any more. <laughs> George and Zepeda can track the victim. You know, history, relationships, personal stuff. I'll work from the killer's side, where the sodium pentothal could have been bought. Sykes, what about Hawaii? Oh, it's not going anywhere. This is too important. I want in. Oh, Matthew, Beatrice, and I are perfectly prepared to handle this case. You should have your vacation. I will, George, when this is done. I mean, reservations are made to be broken, right? OK, Sykes. It's your life. I thought you were looking forward to your vacation, Matthew. Or has your guilty yeah. conscience finally caught up? Hey, I don't want to leave you guys in the lurch. The lurch? Yeah, I don't get you, Sykes. I mean, whatever happened to cold beer and warm motion breezes? Hey, Zepeda, you walked the beat for 10 years. Since when you got something against an honest day's work? Look, I'm sorry. Uh, I got to check some things out. I'll see you later.
How the hell did Burns get this note? We don't know. Doctor of death. He's given the nutcase a reputation to live up to. What do you mean? Well, look at all the other butchers we've had in L.A. They love to play the part. The hillside strangler, the night stalker, the skid row slasher. Even one of your own, George. The slag town slaughterer, remember? I will never forget it. Neither will I, George. We can't be sure this doctor of death will kill again. No, we can't be sure he won't, either. Someone claiming to be the doctor of death just gave me an address where we could find his latest patient. Anybody here? It's me, Burns. I got your message. There is truth in death. He's following the gospel according to Burns. Look how he signed it. The doctor of death. We're dealing with a very dangerous mind. Which one, the killers or Burns? Don't take this the wrong way, Sykes, uh, but it doesn't look like you can leave for Hawaii soon enough. Uh, any pertinent findings, Dr. Allen? I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, gentlemen, but I'm afraid we definitely have a multiple killer on our hands. Are we certain it's not a copycat? Very. Both victims were injected with large doses of sodium pentothal with identical hypodermic needles. And after further testing, I also found the presence of identical cellulose fibers near the point of injection. Other than that, both bodies are clean. I'm afraid that's all I have for you now. Uh, thank you, Lois. Let's have SID run some tests on those fibers, see if we can track them down. There's got to be a lead in there somewhere. So many papers this morning, Burns? What do you care, Sykes? They're for people who read. He tipped you off, didn't he? That psycho told you where the body'd be. As a member of the Fourth Estate, I'm not allowed to divulge any information about my sources. I got a source for you. Matthew. I didn't do nothing wrong. Uh, you took evidence from a police investigation. I took a picture. The people got a right to know I was just doing my job. Yeah, well, the job you're doing is egging on a nutcase, and it's my job to stop him. I guess that kind of puts us on different sides of the fence, don't it? Oh, doesn't this look like a fun bunch? While we're young, Zepeda. All right. Look, maybe something, maybe nothing. But this woman just called. She just read Burns' story, and it's parked on something she saw. I guess she saw a strange truck parked where victim number two was found. They get a point? Yeah, it's a stolen truck. Registered to a Star Tool and Die Company. Let's go. See, Sykes? What I do is good for you guys. Maybe we are on the same side of the fence after all. <laughs> Sorry about the hard hat, but the rules is rules. I'm just following directions. <sighs> Mr. Groves, I've been directed to ask you about one of your workers, Brian Knotts. He don't follow directions. And he took my truck. Anyway, he's been working here, if you want to call it that, about two weeks. Delivery stuff. But he ain't showed up for work in the last four days. No call, no nothing? But no phones, my bet. I'm telling you, Knotts is as odd as a three-legged duck. Spooky, I'd say. And like I said, he's got one of my trucks. I filed a complaint. You got any word on that? There's an APB out on it. If it's found, you'll be notified. You know where this man lives? I dug out his employment history, what little there is. Never did give an address, though. What does uh, this Brian not look like? Uh, about 35, I'd say. Not short, not tall, blonde hair, blue eyes. Of course, his are kind of crazy. Does he have any distinguishing marks, like maybe a scar? Yeah, he has a scar over his right eyebrow. Hey, you'll find him. Get my truck back. Don't worry, we'll find him. Matt, when you asked about the scar, it was as if you knew he had one. A lot of people have scars, George. Yes, Matt, but what I mean is that... Look, I've been a cop a lot longer than you have. I may not have the alien senses, but I've got instincts of my own. This is kind of dumb. 
um, I mean, I can't even think of a gift to put in the vessel for Vestmas Mukti Booty. Well, according to the writings of Selene, Em, listen to your hearts, then physicalize that emotion with something symbolic. What does that mean? Well, it means what it means. Thanks a lot, Buck. Just remember, Em, sundown is your deadline. Cindy. Hi. My mom's waiting in the car to take us to the mall. Are you ready? How are you, Cindy? Fine, thanks. They're gonna give out other friendship bases if we don't go now. Can I go, Mom? Have you done all your chores? Everything you were supposed to do? Yeah, Mom, I've done everything. Come on, Emma. Well, then have fun as long as you're home by eight. But, Mom, I... It's I've... a school night. Thanks. Bogus. The guy's employment records. It's a dry hole. And I'm having no luck connecting the two victims. The woman is a teacher from Pasadena, the man a carpenter from Orange. Keep digging. There's got to be something. Something? I got 12 hours of nothing, but I did trace the uh, prescription pad the doctor used to make his notes up to Edmonton, Canada. But you see, the Mounties have to get back to me with those sodium pentothal similars. Well, then run it in the national computers. Uh, run it through Interpol. Tomorrow, Sykes. I'm cooked. Great. The guy's leaving a trail of bodies, and you're tired. It's late. I have to get home to Vesna. We'll make a fresh start in the morning. You look as though you could use some rest as well, Matt. I'm fine. Matt, what's wrong? Nothing. Ever since you canceled your trip to Hawaii, you've become very distant. Now, I may not have been a cop as long as you, but it doesn't take a Sherwood Holmes to realize something's troubling you. What's troubling me, Sherlock, is there's a psycho out there killing people. Now, if you guys want to go home, go home. I'm going to stop him. Matt. Goodbye, George. This is Burns. Hi, Headline. What's news? Who's this? I'm insulted you had to ask. I'm the one that sent you the address that got you an exclusive. It's the doctor. How'd you get my number? Well, that doesn't matter. What does matter is what I've got planned for tonight. He thought the last one was good. Be at the corner of 11th and Hill, 9 p.m. And point your camera north. You might just wind up with a prize winner. Yeah, yeah, hey, uh, why... Hey. Saying I got better offers for the exclusive movie and TV rights. 
Hey, whoever it is, just leave it outside. I'm on the horn. Yeah, so, uh, what do you got to offer me? Make me more interested, huh? Sykes, what are you, crazy? You're the expert on crazy burns. I'm on the phone. Get lost. You were on the phone. Now you're under arrest. Arrest? You are nuts. You think I'm nuts, Burns? Come on, Sykes. You think I'm as nuts as your buddy, Dr. Death? Because he'd pull the trigger. You're going to hear from my lawyer. Yeah? Good. Maybe he can explain how you can let an innocent man die so you can sell more papers. Hey, man, I, I didn't know this was going to happen. You knew something was going to happen. You were there with a the camera. You could have stopped it. What could I have done? You could have called. You could have done something, anything. But you took pictures. Like I told you, I got a right to report the news. Yeah, well, you're not reporting it anymore, pal. You're creating it. You're a participant. And you're under arrest for accessory to murder. Hey, man. Hey. Come on, you can't do this to me. Let me go. Let him go. You heard me, Sykes. Let him go. Come on, Grazer. Look, I know what he did, but there's a thing in this country called the Constitution. Yeah. And unfortunately, it gives him the right. Yeah, I got an obligation to the public. What about your obligation as a human being, Slime? Sykes, Burns' paper, if you can call it that, just marched an army of lawyers into the commissioner's office. Matthew. The call to release Burns is his, not mine. I don't give a damn what the commissioner says. Another innocent victim is dead, and I'm not going to let him fuel the fire anymore. Fuck it. Get out of here, Burns. What? You heard me. It's about time. Jeez. You better get new locks on your doors, Burns, because whether you know it or not, you and the doc are in bed now. Matthew. You're his eyes, his ears. Every time he kills, you're right there with him with the printed words. Sykes, it's enough. Don't be surprised if that army of lawyers returns to the front, this time with a lawsuit. Sykes, I need to see you in my office. Look, we know this guy's a random killer. There's no predicting it. So the way to nail him is to trail his bait. Burns. I doubt Burns will cooperate. The hell with cooperation. We, we tap his phone. We read his mail. We watch his every move. Sooner or later, the doctor's going to make a house call. You know as well as I do that with all the recent press harassment cases, the warrants will be impossible to get. The hell with the warrants. Do we want to nail this guy or don't we? There's a flight leaving for Honolulu within the hour. I'm booking you on it. Oh, so you're a travel agent now. Francisco will drive you to the airport. Well, what? We've settled this all without me, huh? Matt, we thought it best. Look, I can't go. This case... This case is... will be handled by Francisco and Zepeda as originally planned. You need the R&R. &R. I feel fine. Matt, look at yourself. Sykes? Matt, I know we hardly ever see eye to eye, but trust me on this one. A few days in Hawaii would do you a world of good. You've been worrying around the clock for days. You're a good cop, Sykes. But we all get toasted. Maybe you guys are right. Fumes aren't helping much, Mom. Vesna's is still wheezing. Oh, well, um, chop the pine needles finer. The, the tar mustn't be viscous enough. This old Tanktonese remedy should work. I'm so glad you came home, Mom. I mean, Vesna was breathing fine this morning. I don't know what could have caused this. Oh, I've never seen this before, but this is the first baby we've had on this planet. It could be anything. Did you get Sykes off? Oh, yes, I put him on the bullet plane about an hour ago. He should be there by now. Slima. I do hope he has fun. I've never seen him look so troubled before.
Hey, Sykes Desk is a regular junk food store. You're still worried about Sykes, Space Man? Forget it. By now, he's fancy free and wakey key. I'm hit! I'm hit! Rick, I'm all right, man. I'm all right. He's gone upstairs. Call for backup. There's no time. He's mine. Send me up the usual, a fifth of generic scotch and a tuna sandwich. This plane landed two hours ago. He should have checked in by now. Yes, please check again. I'll hold. There's still coming up empty on that APB on the pickup. But listen to this, space man. SID ran a check on those cellulose fibers found on that guy that did the swan dive. Same kind used in newsprint back in the 80s. Only five places in the city used it. Well, check on it. Hey. The best info comes from Edmonton, Canada. Ten years ago, they had a similar string of murders. So I ran that and all our information through Interpol. For the last eight years, that same guys have been in a half dozen cities between Glasgow and Perth. And sodium pentothal was in each of the victim's bodies? Yeah, in each case. Yes, I'm still here. Thank you for your help. 
What? Matthew never went to Hawaii. Mrs. Burns? Hey, headline, we're looking good. You know, I've been thinking what we need now is an up close and personal. Up close and personal? Yeah, you know, headline, one of those you've seen his work, now meet the man kind of profile. An exclusive interview, just you and me. Tonight. Sure. 9 p.m., South Dome, the old McClure building. I'm Burns. Relax, Headline. We're partners, you and me. I've been listening to the ship's horns calling me in the night. It's time to move on. But I wanted my mission to be known before I went. Yeah, what is your mission? This world has sickened. So shots of sodium pentothal gonna cure this? I'm a messenger. And my medicine is the truth. <laughs> You're killing people. Exactly. This life is a lie. And the only way to escape the lie is to reach that eternal truth, which is death. And I help people to find that truth. Yeah? How do you know this truth? By tasting death, I live life. I help people to find the truth, and it's your mission to help me spread the truth before I go. She's breathing much more easily now. She'll be fine. Our love protects her. Uh, Emily, what are you doing up? It's my fault. It's my fault she's sick. Emily, I lied. I didn't keep my word to Selene. I didn't put my offering in the vessel. And now she's punishing me by cursing Vesna with sickness. You didn't give your offering? Oh, Emily, I know how hard it must be for you to come to us with this. We appreciate your honesty, Em. But I lied to Celine. Well, Celine is all forgiving. I am sure she will look upon your words in the same light as well. Emily, the Mukti Bhuti ritual is a way for all of us, not just Vesna, to learn about life's passages. The vessel is symbolic of that learning. By giving Vesna love, we get love in return. I think that if you give Vesna an offering from your hearts, it will make her very happy. Oh, I'll get it. Matthew. I blew it, man. I had him, and I blew it. Now he's got burns. I blew it. Checking up on me? I needed to know why. Matthew Sykes. 
breaks the cardinal cop rule, puts his weapon down, gives it up. What does he get? The killer gets away, and every person who's died since can thank me for it. You've got to stop blaming yourself. Yeah, right. It was not your fault. Tell that to his victims. Tell that to a 22-year-old nurse I watched die. <sighs> Her name was Adele. Adele Aluna Addison. She grew up in Long Beach. Always wanted to be a nurse. Wanted to help people. She... Always brought daisies to her patients. Made him feel better. She would have been 30. It's June 21st. It's the longest day. Well, the year, June 21st. It's the longest day. You were a young cop. You made a mistake. You've got to forgive yourself or you'll never make up for it. I'm not a young cop anymore. And I blew it tonight. He got away again, and now he's leaving town. Then let's go stop him. Find him. Do you think he's killed Burns? No. In that case, thanks Burns, printing his words to the world is part of his mission in this life or some kind of garbage. You ain't gonna hurt him till that word gets printed. Damn it, George, the answer's gotta be right here. All right. We know he's killed in Canada, in Australia, all over the world. And now he is back in L.A. The only trail he's left is the sodium pentothal. So random. What about the cellulose fibers found on all the victims? They're from newsprint. Cepeda's narrowed down the locations where that fiber can be found. Here, see? There are five places in the city in all. Unfortunately, they're too spread out for the two of us to check. The valley, the wharf. What? Maybe he did leave a trail. He said he heard sounds of ship horns. The water. Harbor Gazette. It's abandoned. It's the only one even close to the water. That's all we got. Bingo. Matt. Let's go. Wait. This is one way in 152. Request backup the old Harbor Gazette building. 3275 Dock Point Road, possible 155P in progress. Now let's go. I can't see a thing. Take my hand. Time is right for the word to be spread. I, uh, I need my own typewriter, you understand? I understand only the word. Well, I want your word to get out, too, but I gotta do it in the newsroom. And my editor, he's not... Type! He's not gonna publish it. He's... Oh, he's gonna publish it. If I have to tape it to your chest and blow your brains out, he's gonna publish it. Where should we start? I'll flush him out. You go get Burns. 
The voiceless one first spoke to me as a child. He told me the truth, and he told me to spread it. Keep typing. Get out the back door and down the stairs. Now! Move when you're dead. Drop it. We meet again. The circle is complete. You looked better in uniform. It's all over this time. I'm out of here while he learns the truth. Drop the gun. I've seen how you keep your word. Drop the gun. If you shoot me, hero, and I even jerk, he's dead. Now drop the gun. I said drop it! Maybe you won't jerk. Sorry. It's all right. He would have killed you. I knew you wouldn't let him. To Masa Siglihala and Darko Nesalin Les Enesh Asivelina Vesna. Rom Sela Tuf Krekta. In your life, I shall be the one who teaches you about loving others as you love your universe. In your life, I shall be the one who teaches you about the journey and sacrifice of Andarko and Selene. In your life, I shall be the one who teaches you of your past as a Tectonese. I shall be the one who teaches you the importance of being honest.
Milo. Vesna, in your life, I'll be the one who teaches you how special your father is. In your life, we shall love and teach you.